Hey there everybody, this is Millennium Jester signing back in with the Chrono Trigger. Part 19. Out of 20. No, that'd be ridiculous. That'd be a long ass episode. Anyway, we're here giving the Masamune back to the frog. There you go, big guy. This sword, tis the Masamune. I have an English accent with a Japanese sword. It doesn't make sense. I'm really trying to ponder why they didn't call the sword Excalibur. And, uh, like, you'd think... It would, I, I don't know, maybe it's... It wouldn't make as much sense when you're fighting the brothers, Masa and Mune. Cyrus, you're... Are you leaving? Yes, it's time we took back the medal from the Frog King, and I'd like to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you, and Lean and I need you. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. Cyrus away! There goes the only man I'll ever love. Sir Cyrus! Yay, Cyrus! Oh, Cyrus! Have my children! We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Listen well, my friends. <laughs> Gather round. I now entrust the safety of this kingdom to you, pissant soldiers. Come on, let's go. Glenn, you be careful too. It's Glenn. The play of sound out your majesty now. He's not gonna have that voice. That'd be horrible. Wonder who Glenn is. I ain't never seen no Glenn. As we all know, flashbacks are always handled with very shaky can what is that sword he has? I think it was like on fire. Oh damn frog king. How dare you, Frog King! I like how they have this, like, own boss that we never see. I, mean, I don't think you ever see this boss in the game. So you want the badge of... Um, Gribbit? So you want the badge of courage, dear knight of the kingdom? Well, come and get it if you can, Gribbit. Prepare yourself, Polywag. <laughs> Nirvana Strike. Grack, how dare you pick on a hopeless amphibian? Filthy metal! I won't forget this! Rawr. I'll see you in Link's Awakening. The sword, the Masa Moon. Oh, who's... Is that Ozzy? Who's that guy with the cool, nonchalant gaze at that rock? That's what he's looking at. He's not looking into the distance. He's looking at that rock. I don't remember what voice I gave Ozzy. Cyrus, I'm a goner. Then escape while I keep them at bay. Better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. I don't have a, a voice for him. Perhaps something like evil and menacing. <laughs> no, that's not menacing at all. What the hell? What's the matter? Aren't you going to try your luck? Uh. <laughs> Cat got your tongue, kid. How about it, Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright, why not? There's always a time for a little fun. What the hell? Great sort of fun! Oh, that's secret of honor. Never mind. <laughs> you spineless wimp. He's from Brooklyn. No. I totally destroyed any integrity that scene held. <laughs> we all did not care about it. Ten years have passed. Oh, so he's Glenn. Interesting little note there that he is not, like, the hero. He, he was just the page for the hero. He was just the guy who, like, he was, the, he was basically the hero's bitch. Though we may fail, let us go to Magus's lair. Thou knowest his power? Nope! <laughs> we won't be beaten by a bad guy. And we have Frog for this part of the game, and let's give Luca a chance to shine. 
hold on just a moment. Let me see something here. I need to go through the time warp again. Because there's something we have to do at the end of time. So I'm just going to meet you guys. Oh, damn things. All right, well, I'm going to meet you guys back at the end of time. All right, we're back here at the uh, time portal or time gate or whatever the kids are calling these time things these days. Time bubbles, like from the DC universe. That was a weird reference I never thought I'd make. Anyway, there's a, there's a special reason we wanted to come here, so let's heal up. We wanted to go, first off, go into your uh, equipment and equip Frog with the Hero's me er, Medal. Uh, what that does is it greatly increases the uh, critical chance while he has the uh, the Masamune, which he's not wielding. What? Oh, oh yeah, just, just give that a minute. I didn't even think about that. So let's uh, equip him with some better armor. There we go. Now he's at least on par with the rest of us. Alright, so let's uh, go in here and talk to the man himself, Specchio. What a weird fellow. Being a frog, let's give him water. Ipso facto minimo magico! Frog learned to use magic. Do this... now. Do not... Do not wait until after the dungeon starts to use this ability, because it is, without a doubt, necessary for the, f for the fight you're going to have to do. So let's just see how it looks here. Bam. Not the most devastating looking spell, but yeah, what are you going to do? Let's try a good old-fashioned lightning here. Oh yeah, lightning! Yeah, so... Frog has the ability to cast water spells, which means that he has the same elemental affinity as, um... Marl there. So... Basically, you never need to use Marl ever again. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, during the next boss fight, or the next major boss fight, rather, um... You have to have Frog in your party, and you're gonna want to have a character... We learned Sword Stream. But, uh... You're gonna want to have a character... Uh... Yeah. You're gonna want to have characters that can cast different elements. Like, uh... You, you have Chrono. You have, um... Frog, who casts water. And then you have, uh... Luca, who can cast Fire Magic. So that's gonna be important for... Later on. Alright, well, I'm gonna join you back uh, where we're supposed to be right now. Be back in a sec. Alright, welcome back to the year 600 AD. I don't know why it's AD in this game. You think it'd be uh, CE, but eh, whatever. Who cares about religion and history? Anyway, so here we're gonna get a little scene. Purple-haired quadruplets. <laughs> He's still spinning. At times, people have to grit their teeth. You're a marshmallow. <laughs> That's like the worst thing you can call somebody. You. Freaking marshmallow. Look at this Isaac looking dude. That's a Golden Sun reference, by the way. This is probably one of my favorite music pieces in this game. Too bad my audio is probably horribly distinct. Yeah, that's gorgeous by 16-bit standards. That's gorgeous by any standards, really. <laughs> I 
to get some backstory for a uh, frog here. Oh, froggy frog. Look at that water. Like, Jesus. Wow. Handeth over the moss moon. <laughs> That's not really handing it over, but okay. And cutscene. Yeah, you see those rocks that just fell? Those were angels that he turned to stone with that blast. Holy crap. Or as my good friend Billy Batsoon liked to say, holy moly, what is this bat thing? I, I, I don't like it. It flies away when we start a battle. That's a little bit weird. Bam, how do you like them apples? Even though that didn't do anything. Let's try some good old-fashioned magic. Actually, flame toss probably would help. There we go. I can hit all of them with flame toss. Yes. Do it now! He's 4 HP left. Critical hit. Aw. Oh, well, I killed him. We get some experience points. And Luca learns napalm. Awesome. Napalm's an area of effect ability. It's actually really good. I completely forgot about this treasure chest, by the way. Alright, so let's fight these guys. Let's try out that new Napalm skill. It's actually one of my favorite things about uh, Luca's, her Napalm skill. Really helpful. Alright, like right here. Let's use uh, lightning on this guy. Damn, look at that. 300 damage. Only took 3 MP, which isn't that much, honestly. We gained them experience points. Chrono levels up, frog levels up, everybody levels up. Err, but what the hell? Run! What the hell? A note written in blood. The juggler at Magus' castle strengthens and discard when attacked. Beware. Huh, I'll have to, uh, remember that. And that refers to an enemy we'll be fighting here at Magus's Lair. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, this has been Millennium Jester signing out. Have a nice day.